Hello Aries, I hope you're all doing well in today's reading. We'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about for January. Um, if you identify as the more masculine energy, um, there may be this feminine um, that is playing a significant role here. Someone who's very loyal, dedicated, and does want long term with you if this is love related. Very focused on you and it is true love, but more so I am getting that d despite, you know, we all have masculine and feminine energies within us, right? But it's the overall energy is also of strong intuition. So psychic abilities. Um, it's also a very empathetic energy. So you may be asked to assist others in need at this time. Or you may have some healing abilities that you're being asked to share with the world at large. Let's see what blessings are coming towards Aries rest of 2022. Okay, you being able to cut through any confusion, illusions, strong discernment, someone who's extremely intelligent, but strong decision-making abilities. You're coming through as someone who's very capable, very strong-minded. You don't give up easily on your ideas. But you also have a great business sense. You're knowing where to invest your time, your money, your energy. So that is coming through as a blessing. Extremely intelligent. You also have a gift of foresight I'm seeing with those intuitive gifts. So you're able to spot trends before others. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, this is a couple, a partnership. Can be a business partner, some collaboration that really pays off for you. Some of you will be entering a new relationship is what I'm getting. What blessings are coming towards Aries? But it's also making wise financial decisions. Saving your money. You know, creating some sort of budget. Folk, you know, saving is what I'm getting. Second house is coming to mind. What blessings are coming towards? We have a lot of people. A lot of people coming through. So many court cards here. Eight of Wands. Yeah, it's interacting, conversing. But I see a very loving connection here. This is true love. I don't know what you're attracting. Some of you know this person. But it's very mature energy. And these people that are surrounding you, they're at your level. They're on your level here. Things are going very well for you. And it also, like, you're coming through as very balanced here. We have the air, earth, and water element, and you've mastered, right? When you're coming through as a king or a queen, it's like you've mastered that element. So you're on top in terms of, you know, your intellect, you're very quick on your feet, your great business sense, and you're also emotionally uh, very stable and intuitive. It's like you can really what is the energy I'm getting? It's like you can, you're very flexible and you're very adaptable. So you can act, behave according to situation. That is a natural gift you have. But you're very fair and reasonable with your interactions with others. If someone messes with you, they'll get the king of swords. If someone is giving nurturing, you'll return the favor. So it's like, I'll treat you the way you treat me, right? But it's a no-nonsense. King of Swords is sort of overpowering the Queen and King here for me. So it's like, I'll cut you out in a heartbeat, but a very sharp tongue, you know how to put people in their place. But everyday life, you're very calm, reasonable, sort of laid-back energy I'm getting. Um, some of you may be showing others a more cold, detached energy, but once you get to know you, um, you're very sensitive and sweet, is what I'm seeing. But a lot of happiness, happy home, happy family. Some of you, 
this is overall well-being there's some dear wish coming true because this is ultimate happiness a happy relationship is what i'm getting but again a lot of support love around you with all these court cards people supporting your vision what blessings are coming towards aries we have a lot of oracles that we'll get through you're the only sign i love to see this you're the only sign to get magician so far and you're the sixth sign i'm filming i don't think the magician even made appearance not even once for the other readings and paired with the four of swords this talks about manifesting but you're also a great problem solver you're that idea person so people are coming to you to solve their problems is what i'm getting with the magician but it's also really up to you what you want to create here they're saying you're in charge we have free will what are you focusing your attention on but i see a very powerful communicator a powerful mind it's like you're a genius you're brilliant is what i'm getting you can create something out of nothing you're very confident in your ideas you believe in yourself or you will be and that is a blessing very charismatic you have a way with words they're saying gift of the gap i see that very quick on your feet what blessings some of you are have you're in a position of leadership you're having to interview you maybe recruit is it called recruiting something along those lines is coming through what blessings are coming towards Aries Tower? Your reading is a bit different from the other ones. For one, the top row is all court cards. Bottom row so far is all major arcana. I'm seeing a lot of a lot of the blessings changes that are coming through are self-created. So you're in charge here, you're the boss. So I don't really see any i mean the stars the universe is supporting you in terms of the decisions you're making but a lot of this is just coming from you I'm, it's like the power of the mind you're a master manifester and you've sort of mastered that art of manifestation if that makes sense and a lot of this has to do with your perspective you're changing some of you are very disappointed um, it can be dark night of the soul and three of wands is always optimism it reminds me of Sagittarius energy seeing the bigger picture but it's almost going from extreme despair pessimism to optimism feeling hopeful about your future ready for the next step next adventure so I don't see you being held down for long if there is any minor disappointments what blessings are coming towards Aries queen of wands you're so strong you know what i'm the image i'm getting is a strong gust of wind or a storm but you're sa standing still it's like nothing can shake you your foundation is so strong no matter what comes your way i'm saying you're very strong and resilient like nothing can bring you down nothing can take away what is yours some of you, it's a position you're in. There may be a fear of losing what you have and they're saying there's no way. There's no one like you. But there is multiple people here surrounding you. Um, it's too many court cards. Yeah, some of you, there was some confidence issues, something to do with self-esteem, um, fearing some sort of competition here. It's a very competitive energy, but that is what you're coming out of. You're regaining your confidence. You're not indecisive. There was doubts here. Can be some sort of idea that you're wanting to implement here. And I don't see you. I see you going for it. You're charging ahead. and It's like meeting the right people as well to assist you along the way. Some of you will be getting engaged. I do see that because this slipped through together. Diamond. You will be receiving or giving a precious gift and romance celebration party fan. It's like an engagement party. Some of you will be connecting with the Virgo or September may be significant here. Uh, you're getting a lot of... How do I say this? 
um, sexual attraction. Um, people that are wanting you for your looks here or your some power. Um, it's more superficial though, but you are getting a lot of attention. People wanting to communicate with you. I don't know if you're really bothered. We have slowly but surely getting ahead. It's slow and steady progress, but it's success that is meant to last. You're investing in your future. You're investing in yourself. What blessings are coming towards Aries? I actually might clarify the tower because like my, I keep being drawn to it. <laughs> I'm trying to focus on this, but my eyes keep gravitating towards the tower. It's almost like screaming at me, focus on me, focus on me. Some of you may, there's a fear of losing your wealth or what you have. We have shark, take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. Um, I don't really see that. I mean, don't take any unnecessary risks or get rich schemes, right? Because we have slowly but surely getting ahead. So that slow and steady approach will be beneficial. But paired next to mm, coins, money will be coming to you. Don't borrow or lend money because we have someone you know is undependable and insincere paired with lighthearted and carefree energy. And also... Be mindful that you're not spending money carelessly because that came through with wealth. What blessings are coming towards Aries? Happiness and well-being. Oh, we love that. Sun represents a lot of things. It can talk about overall well-being though, right? Good health, uh, more energy, you feeling good about yourself, your body, a level of confidence. Overall, everything is going well in your life is what I'm seeing. I have two stacks here with the tea leaves, so we'll pull out both. Let me get one more from this one. A rooster. <laughs> An arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. That's the king of swords. I feel like it's your energy. But it's nothing negative. It's coming through as a blessing. And sometimes we need to put people in their place. And it's just a level of es establishing healthy boundaries. So I don't see you letting people get away with much here. They try to mess with you. And you have a thing or two to say. And it's not physical either, right? I don't see you picking fights physically. It's the words. The words can be a powerful tool and you're using them. We have period of frustration, lessons to be learned. What blessings are coming towards? I'm not taking that because that combination came through for Aquarius. Ah, yeah, <laughs> sorry. Hand, in need of help, assistance, and guidance. I don't think you need guidance, but you will be giving guidance. People are coming to you with their problems, whether that's family, friends, coworkers, you will be the voice of reason in times of difficulty. We have Quill, get back to the basics. Some of you are going round and round in cycles with a situation in your life that you will be letting go of, but it's like you're coming out of this tower moment stronger than ever. Crown. Oh yeah, some of you are meeting someone new. We have chair filled. Someone new is entering your life. We had multiple court cards. Crown, honor and respect will come to you. The significant zodiac signs were Aquarius and Taurus. That may hold some significance. What blessings are coming towards Aries? If you've been going round and round, doing the same thing, getting the same results, they're wanting you to reassess, reevaluate, get back to the basics. It can be a job situation that you're frustrated with, so they're saying, Learn a new skill. Get back to the basics. Some of you are going through a separation breakup and you're having to put yourself out there again. And that can be scary, right? What blessings are coming towards Aries? 
Can you please clarify the tower here for Aries? What is this in regards to? What is this tower about? North node, your destiny. Clarify the tower. Libra. You're, you don't feel the need to prove yourselves to others, is what I'm getting. There's a confidence here. A quiet confidence about you. And another scenario I'm getting with Tower and Queen of Wands is exposure with the sun, the spotlight being on you. And a lot of focus is on your looks here as well, because that's Venus. It rules beauty. It definitely can be physical appearance, but and that this combination talks about major transformation in the way people perceive you. You're coming through as very graceful, attractive. Can you please clarify the tower? What is this in regards to? Some of you, you're Sagittarius. Some of you may have Sagittarius ascendant. There is compromise within a relationship, someone that you're living with. There may be different ideas when it comes to the aesthetics of the home. If you're moving in with someone and I see you compromising, um, something about your home life, your day to day, and others of you, I see you relocating. Um, you are moving with the tower, uprooting, literally, and being aligned with, it's like a dream home I'm getting, but whatever your living situation is, it's designed to your liking. Some of you are building your own home, I'm seeing, but there's some new revitalizing energy within the home. I don't know what you're doing, but it's also... Because I'm being drawn to the mirror with Venus, it's like looking into the mirror and really liking what you see. So there's progress when it comes to your physical appearance. Again, ascendant. You're loving the way you look. I didn't get this for any other sign. This is crazy. What blessings are coming towards? There's a sense of security. You're not needing outer validation. You're not looking for praise. I do see praise coming to you, compliments, but it's just that quiet confidence. You know you look good. What blessings are coming towards Aries? There's people that are wanting to suck up to you. I'm getting that energy, superficial energies around you that are attracted to you for your status, your physical appearance. So there is energies that you will have to filter through. Third house. Yeah, gifted when it comes to the mind, the way you communicate. Problem solver, the idea person. I see a lot of short distance travel here, and I see more friends, more socializing here. Some of you will be getting together with siblings. I see that. A Pisces may hold some significance here as well. Some of you are heading back to school, and that is where you'll be meeting these new people, right? We had to get back to the basics. But the mind is being highlighted. Communication messages coming in some of you are connecting with other people via the internet i'm seeing also you have a great voice or a talent in the way you express yourself there's you have this talent that you can make anyone feel comfortable you people find you relatable and that is why they connect with you i'm getting
and you're a great entertainer, a great storyteller, that is also a gift you have. But I was getting a gift of foresight. I see that with the 11th house. What blessings are coming towards Aries? Sorry, I was just focusing to see if I was getting anything else. If you have been someone who's very isolated or spending a lot of time at home, I see you mingling. I see an active social life here. I, do, I don't see, you know, long distance travels, but just short journeys here and there. What blessings are coming towards Aries? Sexuality. Ooh. Break free. Break free from what's holding you back and move forward. Don't wait for the change created. This is how your reading differs from the rest of the readings I did. Um, yes, you have the stars supporting you, perhaps a very strong natal chart, a very balanced natal chart I'm getting, but it's also you, you taking initiative. The power of the mind is what I was getting. You're extremely powerful. Ooh, maybe this is why we have star seed. Your essence is magical, appearing in multiple bodies, lifetimes, and dimensions. Believe in your magic. I see you doing that. Inspiration? I've never seen this card come through, ever. It's new to me. Your ideas are divinely inspired, blessing you with creative insights to serve a cause greater than yourself. Yeah, star seed, light worker, spiritual leader, whatever you want to call it, but you're here on this earth to inspire, guide others, is what I'm getting. And it's through this isn't comes naturally to you. You're very gifted. But you're meant to inspire the collective 11th house is large groups the humanitarians that aquarius energy you're also looking very beautiful peacock you're seeing the beauty of you that is what is changing the way you look at yourself the way you feel about yourself you're gorgeous you're very handsome You have a hand over you, is what I'm seeing. In this lifetime, you're very protective. Oh my goodness, chills. Did you see that? Whoa. And we have good luck wanting to come through. But we also have connection. Some of you are meeting someone significant that you don't see yet. Foggy. The clouds will part, the fog will lift, and autumn is when your manifestations are coming.